Hello everyone and welcome to NorCal Slot Car Scene. Every slot car racer who has ever attempted to make a slot car faster has added weight at some time in the tuning process. When placed properly, adding weight to a slot car can increase traction and improve handling which in turn will lead to quicker lap times. The most often used weight is thin lead sheets that are cut to size to fit on the chassis and are easily found at any hobby shop that sells slot cars. In today's video, we are going to take a look at an alternative to lead, that being tungsten. For a given size, tungsten is 1.7 times heavier than lead. The problem with tungsten is it doesn't come in easy to cut sheets like lead. There are, however, a few types of tungsten that is very easy to work with. First is tungsten putty. Slot it sells tungsten putty in 10 gram packages. Being a putty, it can be formed and placed on the chassis. Just take a pinch out of the package and place it where you want ballast. You can even roll it into a ball and place it into areas that would be impossible for lead to fit into. There are other brands of tungsten putty on the market, but I know slot it is very firm and will hold its shape over time. I tried a cheaper brand of putty, and after sitting in my pit box for a week, the putty had run all over the chassis and into the pit box. If you are racing slotted cars, you know that the pod has a magnet installed for racing with clubs that use magnetic downforce. If you take the magnet out, you can add lead weight into the magnet pocket. Slotted has developed a better solution. They make a tungsten weight that is the same shape as the magnet. It weighs two and a half grams and is a direct replacement for the magnet. I used this weight in my last slotted Porsche 956 Group C build and the car was perfect without any additional balance. Plus, it makes for a super clean installation. Finally, you can purchase tungsten rod at any welding shop. It looks just like the music wire that you purchase at your local hobby shop and comes in similar sizes. You can cut it to any length and then glue it to the chassis. The only problem with tungsten rod is that because it is very dense, you must use a diamond cutoff wheel in your rotary tool to cut it. Lead will still be a mainstay in your pit box as it's cheaper and in many cases easier to work with. But as you can see, in some applications, tungsten has definite advantages. It just gives you another tuning option to make your car faster and lower your lap times. Thanks for watching. This is Jim Rose with NorCal Slot Car Scene.